Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to calibrate the battery of your iPhone. But first of all, let me tell you what it does and why you should do it. So first of all, calibrating the battery of your iPhone will not make the battery life better on your iPhone. Now, lithium batteries will degrade as they age, of course, as they undergo like repeated charging cycles. Regardless of that, iOS will track the operating range of the battery, but the battery trackment requires adjustments because have you ever noticed like sometimes it won't show the accurate battery percentage that you have on your iPhone you might experience like unexpected shutdowns or battery will just drop in huge percentages like you have 20% then it drops to 10 and then, then it will just shut down even though it says it's at 10% that's why you need to calibrate the battery of your iPhone. Now to calibrate the battery of your iPhone, you will need to let your iPhone drain the battery completely. I know a lot of people say that this is risky and it will damage the battery of the iPhone, but calibration is done every once in two or three months. So if you do that every once or in two or three months, of course it won't damage the battery of your iPhone. So now let me tell you guys all the steps that you need to go in order to calibrate the battery of your iPhone. There are a few simple steps that you need to follow in order to make sure that you do the calibration process the right way. First of all, of course, step number one, let the battery drain. Step number two, let the battery drain even more. Let your iPhone sit like that shut down because there might still be battery left on your iPhone. Have you ever noticed if your iPhone is drained out of battery and you plug it into charge, once it's up, it will show like five or 6% battery. That means that there was still battery left when it shut down. So it's good that you let it just like sit like that shut down for a few hours in order to make sure that the battery is totally drained. After a few hours, what you need to do is go ahead and plug it into charge. Always make sure that you use an Apple cable or an authorized cable. Now, once it will turn up, what you need to do is just go ahead and press volume up, volume down, the side button, and go ahead and turn off the device and let it sit like that for three or four hours so it will charge completely. Of course, the iPhone will be off, it will be charging, so it won't show the charging indicator here, but just let it sit for like three. Three is enough, but just to be sure, make, let it sit like three or four hours until it charges completely. After three hours, what you need to do is, with the cable still on on your iPhone, just go ahead and press the side button and turn on your iPhone. Now, once your iPhone is back on, what you need to do is do a force reboot on your iPhone. So press volume up, volume down, the side button, press and hold it until you see the Apple logo. That means that your iPhone is doing a force restart and this is the last step that you need to do. And once your iPhone is back on, all you have to do is just remove the cable and now the process is done, the calibration of the battery has been finished. So that is it for this video guys. This is how you calibrate the battery of your iPhone. This is recommended to be done once in two or three months. Of course, the calibration will help iOS better measure the battery of your iPhone. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you guys on the next one.